Hey everybody, it's Shane with Mudhog Mafia, and uh, this is going to be part two of our Mr. RPM Big Boar build. And uh, first I'd like to say they're a great group of guys to work with. Steven, who's over sales, he's very knowledgeable about these engine builds, and he's countless times he's answered any question I've had. Uh, but anyways, uh, first thing we're going to do today is, uh, we're going to, uh, set our, uh, piston ring gaps. We're going to check them. And while we're in the process of that, we're also matching our piston rings to each cylinder. So just make sure when you're testing these, you keep them separated because you if you do file on these they are essentially matched to that particular cylinder this is my front cylinder and i've got my piston rings laid out here and uh this is the sec rear cylinder and uh also i like to when i'm i've got everything i've set all the gaps and checked everything i like to uh lay them out in relation to how they're going to go on the piston as the, as if the piston were in the motor. And I'm going to grab the camera and show you exactly what I'm talking about. As you can see here, this would be the front of the engine or the front of the bike and say if this was your piston you know there's where your uh, wrist pins go and the rings would uh, go on the piston like so and you know there's I'm not sure if it's different for all pistons but you have a, a specific direction each gap needs to be facing in order for it to seal up and prevent blow by and uh which you can see that i've got them laid out just like they would go in the go on the piston So next, what I'm going to show you is a how to check your gaps. You want to take, this is the top ring of the rear cylinder. We're going to get this fitted in here. And then you can take your... Uh, piston and you want to pit push these rings down in they say approximately uh, 10 millimeter and using the piston is a good way to keep everything even and level inside the cylinder wall And I'm going to grab the camera again and show you exactly what I'm going to be checking with my feeler gauge. As you can see here, there's your piston ring gap. And I'm going to get my feeler gauge, which the top rings, once again, on these pistons need to have a minimum of 20 thousandths clearance and then the second ring is 24 thousandths, and then the oil rings are 15 thousandths. So you're gonna take your feeler gauge, and you're gonna go to the 20 thousandths, and you're gonna slide it in that gap, which once again, I, I already know this has got proper clearance. I did have to file these top ones. I don't know if I've already said that, but 
it wasn't very much, but the other rings were already fine. And sometimes it'll be like that. They'll be fine, brand new. But uh, once you've done all that, next we're going to, uh, we're gonna be figuring out which gas it, gasket to run between the jug and the engine case. With, with the Mr. RPM kits, they come with two gaskets. One of them's thinner than the other one. I, I can't remember the exact measurements, but basically you're, you're measuring, you're gonna measure the distance between the top of your piston at top dead center in relation to the top of the jug. And, you know, there's a minimum tolerance, which on this particular setup, minimum is 15 thousandths. Any less than that, you risk your valves hitting the top of the piston. And um, so I'm gonna move the camera to get a better angle so you can see exactly how you go about checking this. So first off, I've already got this uh, rear cylinder at top dead center and uh, I'm gonna slide the gasket on. This is the thinner of the two that you'll receive. Just make sure your water jacket openings, everything matches up. And uh, also, let me back up. When you're checking your piston ring gaps, uh, it's a good idea to rub some odor oil or uh, spray the inside of the cylinder with WD-40. And also I sprayed the outside of the jug in WD-40 so when I slide it down in here, it doesn't scratch or mar up anything. So I'm gonna take my jug. And once again, the piston rings aren't on the pistons just yet. We're just checking your uh, deck height. We're going to slide this on. There we go. And uh, you need to snug this down a little bit. And uh, I went ahead and I've seen guys different methods. I went ahead and I bought some shorter bolts to just use temporarily. These are approximately three inches long. But just in case some of you are doing the same kind of build, now these steps, they go for any of the big bore builds, but this is a, these are M10 by 1.5. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna run these down in there. And once again, you're not torquing these down, you're just snugging this jug down to the engine case. And what you're measuring, you're gonna take a straight edge and you're wanting to measure this little bitty space right here between the top of the piston in relation to the top of the jug. And minimum tolerance is 15 thousandths on the, this 975 kit. And let me remind you, I mean, the tolerance, this is what the tolerance is on this particular setup. I am running the Maverick race heads that are custom milled by Mr. RPM and uh, the Maverick race cams that they also mill, the, those aren't reground, they are one-off milled pieces. So you're gonna take your straight edge and you're gonna lay it across the top of the jug 
and you're gonna take your feeler gauge and you're gonna check that gap. Which that measure out just fine. Once you've done that, you can uh, pull your bolts, pull your jug back off, put your piston rings on, and then you can uh, put this jug back in there permanently. Of course, it's just gonna be sitting on there until you actually bolt your heads down. And uh, I still have to put, I've got ARP head studs that Mr. RPM uh, recommends because you're dealing with a lot of forces going on in this motor. And, uh, but my next video, I'm going to test fit the cams in the heads, make sure they clear. And I'm also going to install the head studs. Then I'll, I'll adjust the valves to get them pretty close. They'll get fine-tuned once the motor's completely back together. But uh, until next time, thank you for watching. Over and out.